Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here of course. If you don't know me my name is Sarah and today is day one of the crochet Christmas challenge. Now if you're here not for the Christmas challenge well it's great to have you it's not a big deal. Um, I've designed these patterns uh, with the whole year in mind so you don't need to crochet them just for Christmas. Since today is day one though, we will be crocheting axolotls. Now, these guys are about a 20 minute pattern. They work up super quickly. They are entirely no-sew. And the only thing that we will be crocheting on is the tail after we close up the body. The fins are crocheted, excuse me, the gills are crocheted as we go. And I will show you how to do that, of course. To make things a little bit easier on your eyes, we will be crocheting with plushy yarn today. So this is a size six plushy yarn and I will be working with white for the body and blue for the secondary color. Anyways, you will also need, of course, a crochet hook, which for this tutorial, I'll be using a size six yarn and a size six crochet hook. Now, if you are using a size four yarn, like for these minis, then you can use a size four crochet hook. My general rule of thumb is whatever size the yarn is. So if, say it's a size five, I'll use a five millimeter crochet hook. You will also need a sewing needle and a pair of scissors. If you are going to be using safety eyes, you'll need a pair of those but I will just be sewing the eyes on, which I'll show you how to do when we get there. You'll of course also need some stuffing. And I think that's about it for the list of materials. So let's just get right into crocheting. So for to start the pattern, we will be either making a magic ring or using the chain two method personally use the chain two method. The way I do this is by wrapping the yarn around my fingers like so and pulling the second loop under the first loop. And I close that right up and then I chain two. Now in the first chain, we will be single crocheting six. If you have a magic ring, you will be crocheting six as well. For the second round, we will be increasing in each stitch around. For the third round of this pattern, we will just be single crocheting in each stitch around. You'll have a total of 12 stitches. All right, so this is the beginning of the head. And now for this next round, we will work on our gills. And the way we will do this is by first grabbing a stitch marker, which I forgot to mention. Give me one second, I gotta find one. All right, I found a stitch marker. You could also use a scrap of yarn if you have it or a safety pin. And we'll just be securing this loop so that it won't go anywhere. I'm gonna close up my magic green chain two because I didn't do that earlier. I find it easier to do this when the plushy yarn, when you use the plushy yarn to do it after you have a couple rounds worked. Now we will join our second color on and we will just create a slip knot and put it on our hook like so. Now we will be working in the front loops of the next three stitches. We will slip stitch into that first back loop right after our working yarn. We will chain two and slip stitch into that first chain. 
Now in the next stitch, we will slip stitch in the front loop, chain two, and slip stitch once more into that chain two space. We will slip stitch back into that same front loop stitch. Chain two, and slip stitch into that second chain from hook, and slip stitch into the next front loop. Now we will chain one and fasten off. There, one side is complete, and we will join our yarn again onto our hook and start the second side. Make a slip knot onto your hook. Now, counting three stitches away, one, two, three, we will begin our next set of gills. Slip stitch into that front loop. One, two, three, like so. Slip stitch into there, and you will chain two slip stitch into that second chain from hook and slip stitch in the next front loop. Chain two, slip stitch in the second chain from hook and slip stitch in that same front loop. Now for the final gill, we will chain two, slip stitch in that second chain from hook and slip stitch into the next front loop. Now fasten off, chain one and fasten off and you will only need a short tail. Now at this point, we will begin working with our first color once again. So just reset like so and working through both loops. If you can't tell where the front loop is, then you can just work through the back loops. It shouldn't make too much of a difference. I just like to uh, cover that seam as much as I can. So go right through and just single crochet all the way around. Now this part doesn't have to be perfect, especially when you're using plushy yarn or velvet yarn. It's much harder to tell if you make any mistakes, so it's not a big deal. There, like so, we have gone through. Now we will single crochet in the next three single crochets. Then Make sure to keep your tails on the inside of the head and not on the outside. Single crochet, three. And then single crochet in the final three stitches. Now at this point, there are a couple things we're going to do before continuing on. First, we will secure our magic ring or our chain two end. I like to do this to prevent the doll from falling apart with time because over time in magic ring or your chain two can end up getting looser, especially the more it is played with. So I like to do this by just creating an arch and slipping the yarn underneath. And I do this two or three times. Then the second thing, we will tie these two ends together so nobody can pick the strings out in the future as well. Do it on both sides, just two basic knots. Now the final thing we will do is sew our eyes on. For this, I will just be using a slightly different color so that you can see the eye more clearly. Let me just find my gray yarn. When I sew eyes on, I like to use either a gray yarn or uh, the color I use for the gills and the fins because it just softens the way the piece looks. So I'll be using this. I would use blue, but I do want you guys to see how I sew this eye on a little bit better. So you're just going to need a little bit of yarn. And then you will thread your needle. With your working yarn facing the top, we will sew the eyes on about lined up with the center fin and between the increase round and the single crochet round. We will pull through and I like to sew twice to give the eye a little bit more bulk. 
Now we will repeat the same thing on the other side, just pull that yarn right through. And go through the stitch twice. And right back through into the inside of the head. Just like so. Now we will secure these two tails together so that the eyes can't be picked out either. Just don't tie it too tightly because you don't want to tug the eyes and sink them in. For the next round, we will be decreasing in each stitch around and you will have six stitches total. Okay, once you decrease all the way around, next you will stuff these ends into the head. If you're working with smaller yarn, you might not be able to do this until after we finish part of the torso. So just keep that in mind. If you also want to shove them all in and there's just not enough space in the head, you can also trim the ends to make them a little bit shorter before stuffing them in. Now for the next round, we will just be increasing in each stitch around. For this next round, we will single crochet three, then we will bobble. Now the way I bobble is by yarning over, inserting your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two loops. You'll have ha about half a double crochet finished. And instead of completing it, we will actually start the next double crochet in the same stitch, and we will repeat this for a total of four double crochets or half double crochets. You should have four loops plus your working, so about five loops on your hook, and then we will just pull through all five loops. Single crochet two, and then repeat the bobble again. So yarn over into next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now yarn over and insert again and repeat that for four times total. Then yarn over and pull through all five loops. Now we will single crochet in the remaining stitches. The last remaining stitches is five if you are counting along like I am. Otherwise, just crochet to the end of the round where your stitch marker is. Now, for the next round, we will just be single crocheting in each stitch around, so single crochet 12. Okay, once you have come back around, we will repeat the bobble round. So single crochet three, then we will bobble just like the other arms. Single crochet two, and then bobble for the final time. Now single crochet five to complete the round. Now we'll begin decreasing. So we will decrease and then single crochet in the next stitch. And we will repeat that four times. Okay. 
Now we will single crochet for the next round for a total of eight single crochets. Now at this point we will stuff the axolotl. I like to start with a little bit just to finish stuffing the head, especially if you're using plushy yarn. And then stuff the body as well. It Try and keep the body on the softer side because we will be tucking in those ends, but not too soft, just a little bit less than you normally would. For the next round, we will be decreasing and then single crocheting two, and you will do that twice. For the final round, we will just be single crocheting six. Now slip stitch, chain one, fasten off with a tail long enough to close up the bottom. So I will just be putting a little bit more stuffing into the tail. before closing this piece up. With your yarn, thread your needle and close up the bottom hole. I do this by collecting all the front loops of all the stitches all the way around and pulling tight. Then I secure my tail similar to when I crocheted the end, the other tail on the other end. There we go. So I create an arch, slip the yarn under it, and then pull tight. I like to do this only once on this end because it is more noticeable. Then of course you weave in your ends. I do this three times to ensure that the tail isn't gonna go anywhere. end, tuck in the extra fluffies, and then we only have one more thing to do before we can call this axolotl finished. We need to give him his fin. So working with your color, I like to give this end a slightly longer tail so it's easier to tuck in. And then starting with from the bottom, we will be single crocheting two and then single crocheting three on the tip, and then single crocheting three along the top. So this is the place where we will, excuse me, where we will be crocheting the three single crochets. So counting two stitches down, one, two, and we will start our first single crochet there. In the next stitch, we will single crochet, and then on that tail tip, we will put three single crochets into that space. <sighs> then working along the top, making sure that we are aligned, we will single crochet three. Once you are done, chain one and fasten off. To secure these tails, I will use my crochet hook to pull them to the same stitch together. Try and make sure to stay along the outside so you're not pulling any stuffing out because it just kind of gets annoying. Then we will tuck.
tie these two tails together, pulling it tight enough that the ends kind of slip in a little bit and round off. Next, we will thread our needle with both of these ends and tuck them into the body. Weave these in about three times and then cut your ends. And there you have it, a no-sew little axolotl. It did take about 20 minutes, like I said, so right on time. I have yet to time it, but as you can see, it works up really quickly. They're super easy to make. I made all of these guys today, so that should tell you how easy it is to make. Uh, they're super fun to make, too, once you get the hang of it. Let me know down in the comments below if you crocheted these and if you enjoyed the pattern. Let me know if you have any critiques because of course I always appreciate it. Uh, I know that I am not perfect with tutorials so it is amazing to hear your advice, especially on my more popular tutorials. It really helps me to grow and I really appreciate it. If you're over on Instagram but haven't found me yet, I'll link it in the description for you to follow that link. I would love to see your finished pieces there will also be a written tutorial, excuse me, a written pattern on Instagram as well if for those of you who like to follow patterns rather than tutorials. So again, thank you very much for crocheting with me and I hope to see you in day two of this 12 day Christmas challenge. Bye!